Sometimes you just gotta eat your feelings. And the best way to do that is with brownies. Let's go make them. Caution, brownies are decadent. So even the raw kind can't be eaten for every meal or else your brain will explode. That's just science. Cinnamon is often disregarded as the flavor that just happens to be in your oatmeal, but it's actually really good for you. It helps regulate blood sugar, it's good for your digestion, and it also helps lower cholesterol. Besides, it's real good. So, let's make these brownies. This is actually really nice because there are very few ingredients. I am going to use a food processor, but you don't necessarily need to. I am going to pour in some almond milk, maple syrup, or agave, whichever you prefer, salt, and cocoa powder. And the most exciting part is using the vanilla bean. You don't have to, they're kind of expensive. So if you don't wanna use one, you could use two teaspoons of vanilla extract, which works great. But I just love using the vanilla bean when I can. The flavor is just so amazing. You just kind of slice through the top, and then you just scrape the seeds out from the middle. Doesn't look like much, but it adds a lot of really amazing flavor. So now I'm gonna bring in an extra mixing bowl. This looks really awesome. <laughs> and to this, I'm going to add my nut flour in. So I'm just gonna put a little in at a time, fold it into the batter. Add a little bit more to the rest of it. You can really use any nut you like, any nut flour you like. I'm using cashews because they're really rich and creamy. They're perfect for brownies. Okay, this looks great. It's a nice sticky batter. I'm gonna pull out my dehydrator sheet. I have the non-stick Teflex sheet on here, which is gonna be perfect for brownies. I'm just gonna start to spread it out onto the sheet. So as I'm spreading it out, you can see the little chunks of cashew in here. I like it to have a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch when I bite into it, but if you want it to be smoother, just let it run for longer or just buy pre-made nut flour and then you won't have to deal with that, but I like the texture. Okay, so I'm spreading it to about somewhere between a half inch and a quarter inch. They're actually pretty thin for brownies, but these guys are super rich. And we're also gonna put a ganache on top, so that'll give it a little extra height. This looks nice and smooth. I'm gonna put it in my dehydrator overnight because that's where I get the best texture. You could also use your oven, totally fine, but I prefer it in the dehydrator. So that's what I'm gonna do. Welcome to tomorrow morning. We just did time travel. This is nice and firm to the touch. This is the point when I'm just gonna flip it. Now I'm gonna stick it back in the dehydrator. I'm gonna use this giant grill flipper. <laughs> Basically try to get under each side so that it doesn't break when you lift it up. Not saying it's not gonna, because it might, but. Ta-da! All right, so I flipped it just so we get that last bit of moisture from the bottom. It'll all just get soaked up pretty quickly. I'm just gonna put it back in the dehydrator for about an hour. In the oven, you could probably do about 20 minutes if you were to use an oven. So I'm gonna pop it back in. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I'm gonna go check on my brownies. These guys look perfect. I'm just gonna let them cool right here and make my ganache. Let me grab the ingredients. Just stepping over my dog. Okay, so here are all our ingredients for the ganache. Super simple. Just a little bit of coconut oil, maple syrup, salt, cinnamon, which is just gonna add a nice flavor to brownies. And it's good for you. Remember, cocoa powder. All right, let's blend this up. Perfection. And we're just gonna pour it straight onto our brownies. Just don't get too crazy because it is gonna creep out to the sides. 
So if you're doing this in the oven and you have a brownie tin, that'll actually be really good for catching the sides of the ganache on this part. Cause it is gonna go over on the sides a little bit, which is fine. So now I'm gonna hurry and put this in the fridge so it'll set up. It takes about 30 minutes in the fridge usually. Okay, these guys are really thin for brownies. So if they're too thin for you, you can kind of stack them up. They look really cool stacked up. I'm actually gonna try to cut them with a pizza roller. They're thin, but they're really rich. Don't be fooled. Some people like their brownies fudgy, some like them cakey. I really like mine fudgy. And that is what these are, because I make this stuff for myself. Okay, and that's it. These guys are all done. This is a great recipe to have on hand over the holiday season. They're really good to bring to a party. They're really good to wrap up as gifts. And I'm just gonna eat some right now. So <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> now I ruined them all. Next week on Raw Vegan Not Gross, we're making a lavender cheesecake. So, these are my dog buzz. These are my brownies. I hope you like both. I sure do. Dogs can't eat chocolate. Tip, tip for all you out there. It's natural. It's a natural part of digestion. It's good for you. Don't be embarrassed. Do you want me to do it again? Mm -hmm.